we turn oh. off. I forgot we turned off. Okay. Well, you know, that's why we're in person, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Tony, share with us, what was your business like before Bolt? Uh, there was not much. I mean, you know, I was in I was about a year and a half in, maybe, when I took Bolt. Um, and I was still working another job. Uh, so that was, I was about over there 25, 30 That's hours a theme. Ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're um, still working another job, yeah. listen up, y'all, because you can be like, <laughs> These two right here. Keep mm -hmm. going. I'm sorry. Uh, but you know, for me, it was because I I would say I was above average motivated, right? But it helps me again. It helps me step up even further. You know, and t you know, the talking about stepping out of our comfort zone. I think it's such an important part of bold, where because you know we get stuck in these you know mindsets where we keep doing the same thing over and over. But you get put in a room where all these people, there's all these great ideas flowing, and like the energy is amazing. You're like, wow, I can apply that to my business. Because for me, when I did bold, you know, one of the things they measured in bold was how many, uh, you know, meetings we were taking, how many contracts we were getting, and, and how many, you know, closings we were getting. But that's not where I was in my business. For me, I was building my database. So I was like, well, how do I apply these concepts to building my database so that moving forward, I can apply these items uh, and the things that I want. What did it do for your business? Can you point to specific business that it produced for you? that first time? I, I definitely know it added, uh, I was able to continue continuing adding, I haven't closed any business specifically that I know that I took from that directly. Like I know that like, for instance, uh, um, I did, I held a lunch and learn at my daughter's school and I got, I think a, a dozen contacts out of my database that I continued to keep in touch with. Uh, and that, you know, when they're ready, when it's time's right, they're, you know, they're going to buy with me. I know that, you know, I, I continue to improve upon uh, adding contacts in my database, you know, my, you know, at that time, you know, I was, I was averaging, you know, I think prior to about 20 to 25 people per week, am I adding to my database? And during bold, I stepped it up, making it 35 to 40 people per week. Uh, so I can say that, you know, going from, you know, that point to now it's been about a year and a half later where, you know, I was, I sold, you know, 24,000 that year, right? So this year I'm a top 10 agent. So I can say. All right, say that again. So less than two years ago, I sold less than 24,000 uh, take home real estate. But this year I'm a top 10 agent. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So from from like uh, probably the, the 24,000, which is, I believe, you know, right about if that's all you're making, that's because I've right. been there. <laughs> That's about poverty level. Mm -hmm. Let's just be real, yeah. right? Now he's top ten percent. Okay. Top um, ten. Top, top, top oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> he's <laughs> top ten. <laughs> Here he is. Thank you, Tony. I love that. Yeah. Um, how has it impacted? I'll, I'll throw this one right back at you. Janet mentioned this a little bit with her friend who was um, who was ill at the time, um, facing some illness. How has it impacted people around you? Um, Old. I mean, I mean, I've been able to have more time with my family, my daughter. You know, that was the big reason, and that was my big why. You know, when I said hey, I'm getting into real estate so I can have more time with my child, and now I'm not working 80 hours a week. You know, I can take, hey, I'm gonna take today off. I'm gonna take my daughter to dance, or we're gonna have a you know, daddy daughter day. You know, um, I've been able to, you know, I've been able to help. Uh, one of my best friends, Paul Roberts, he's making changes in his life. He's now here at the office. Yep. He's left his job, you know. And he's a capper. He's, he's already capped. You know, it's his first year in real estate. Yeah. And we're, you know, we are inspiring our other friends to do the same thing. So, Dominique, that sounds almost counterintuitive <clears throat> that I would choose to enroll in bold, knowing that it's like boot camp, you know, on steroids, um, in order to gain more free time. It's almost like seems counterintuitive. What, what was your, um, how did bold impact people who were in your life? Well, actually kind of similar, like what he was saying, um, cause I actually, I have a entrepreneur accountability group, um, that I'm a part of, and it's actually interesting when I started, when I joined the group a few months ago, um, you know, we always get in there and talk about different challenges in our businesses and stuff like that. And it would be interesting because I would start hear, hearing people talk about, you know, whatever they have going on. And then I would always start shouting out like random things that I learned from bold, like um, <laughs> don't use but, use and, or just like certain things like that. Just, just the way, you know, really just helping people just look at their businesses and talk to themselves a different type of way. And it's kind of crazy, but everybody in the group, they loved it. Like they're always looking to me for that now. They're like, 
you know, what should I do? What should I say? You know, how should I think? So it's really no. kind of helped just with my, my peers and helping other people's businesses too. So, so how should I think, right? Yeah. What is that internal program that you're telling yourself every day that you're waking up, right? Um, Janet, what would you say to somebody who, um, wow, oh, actually, this is one of the questions. What would you say to someone, what would you say to someone that has a little voice in their head called their limiting belief? It is hindering them from considering doing bold. I mean, I think we all struggle with that little voice in our head, you know, like it could be, you know, this weekend I was showing property and I, there were three different houses that were on a street that had the word oak in it. And I had my little thing all written out of which where I was going. And for some reason, I was just kind of feeling scatterbrained and I went to the wrong oak and my clients called and they're like, where are you? And I thought, Alzheimer's, you know, like what's going on? Like, we are too old for this, you know, like all this stuff is going on in my brain. And I'm like, calm down. We love this, and, you know, and it makes it, you know, like ended up selling them a house this weekend, and I was so tired. And then the, you know, the reward is, oh my gosh, they actually got a house. This is the eighth offer that I'd written for these people, and it just, I mean, I think bold just, you know, makes you just keep going. You know, until, and then that's the reward, you know, it's the good stuff that keeps you in this business. I love that. I love that. Okay. So if you could share one bold law that you guides you through this, um, anybody, what's, what's a favorite bold law? You can have results or excuses, but you can't have both. You can have reasons or results, or you can have results mm -hmm. and you absolutely cannot have both. Mm -hmm. Right. I love it. Tie down. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Tony. What else? Um, what? Got what is this one? Or, well, right. There's no such thing as try. Right? There's no such thing yeah, as try. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if that was actually there's, large or something. That's there's no bold, such yeah. thing as try. Yeah. Janet, I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I this is probably not a bold law, but it's win win no deal. It's just always in my head mm -hmm. when I'm working with anybody. You know, I'm just like, we got to get this contract. How are we going to, and I always like really talk to everyone that I'm doing business with. I don't just send them an email or a text. I call and build a relationship. And I mean, I think the reason why we got that deal this weekend, and she had like 21 offers. Um, and we, we wrote a really strong offer, but she said a lot of the contracts that she got weren't filled out completely. She didn't know who the people were. She actually checks out the agents to see if they're like legit or not. And she wanted to work with me because I had communicated with her the entire time. That, you know? I, I think that bold law is we train people on how to treat us. That, mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. And it, that's not it. It's something like that. Yeah. And mine, by the way, is um, people grow into the conversations that you and I create around them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just like a conversation. Um, Tony's going to come back because we've got an we've got two extra incentives for y'all to do bold. So we'll see Tony again. But let's say thank you to our awesome panel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We should have. Um, we have a special guest, you guys. Her name. Thank you so much, Tony. Her name is Kate Peterson from Toronto, Canada. I said Toronto, California yesterday. <laughs> that other place. Yeah, yeah, Canada, Canada. So um, can we, Kate, are you, are you with us? I am here. How's everybody today? Hey, can you see our room? Our room is pretty awesome. We're, 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 we like puked purple in here. Yeah. I would like if everybody could either unmute or share your screen for a minute, please show your team leaders some love. They have worked so hard to get your market center ready 
and are ahead of all the other market centers that I've seen. They are rocking it. So let's show them some love. Oh my goodness, your market center is rocking it. My name is Kate Peterson. I am a Maps Bold coach, and I am so honored and excited to be coming down to be doing bold in person. How many people are excited about being in person? Uh, it, it, it's just so exciting and, and I cannot thank your leadership team enough. They are working so hard to ensure and winterize your businesses. Wow, if there's ever a market center that I've seen that has their agent's best interest at heart, it is this market center. So kudos and congratulations on that. So listen, guys, I am excited to get started here. We will be starting our bold experience in October. And what we know is that this is going to help you finish your fourth quarter strong and set you up with a pipeline that 2022 will be off the charts. COVID, what? It is going to be gone. It is going to be out of our mindset. We're not going to talk about this anymore. We're not going to give it any more mental space because we're going to be putting 100% of our efforts into our businesses, our mindset, and our clients. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. Awesome. I love that. So let me ask you, by a show of hands, how many of you are on target to hit your goals for 2021 by a show of hands. We got a couple. Okay, awesome. That's great. We've got a few who are, and we got a few people whose hands are still down. How many people have already hit your goals? Raise your hand if you've already hit your goals. Not just on track, you've hit them. One. One. Okay. So here's the exciting news. I'm in the trenches with you guys. I have a team. I'm in production, minor production myself. Our team this year hit and surpassed our goal by June 30th. And we are still, we, we had to sit down together at the beginning of June and go, we're, we're, we're done this year's goals. Are we going to take the rest of this year off? Or are we going to reset our goals? Ah. Hey guys, this is all about being bold. This is all about getting our systems and processes in place and thinking bigger. So for everybody who's on track, congratulations. For everybody who's already hit them, let's get you some new and bigger goals to set up. And for everybody who's a little bit behind, let's work together to finish this year strong and have you finish on track. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Now, how many people by a show of hands are newer in your real estate journey? You're still on that beginning path. You still feel like you're a little bit newer. Have we got a few people, Clark? Yeah, about three. We got three. Okay. Well, congratulations, guys, on starting that journey. That's awesome. So we're going to put your businesses on fire and people are going to look at you and go, holy smokes, how do I get to be rookie of the year? You're going to be the head turners in the office. People are going to be going, wow, how did they do that? So let's do an exercise together to bring some clarity around where you are right now and where you desire to be. Because, and I'm going to ask everybody to participate at the highest level. I know we don't have a lot of cameras on, except I've got this mental bold sense. I know if you guys are participating or not. Can we turn a few more cameras on to see who's playing all in? Who's playing all in? Turn your camera turn on your and who's playing all in. Turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras, guys. Let's see some pretty faces. Okay, for, for yeah, I said pretty faces. <laughs> turn your cameras on. Let's see some faces. Let's play all in. Awesome. I love it. Oh, Rochelle looks like she's having a gorgeous day outside. Look at that beautiful weather out there. And look at that smile. That's what we're looking for. That's playing. That's what we call playing all in. All right. Okay. Because here's the thing, guys. When we play all in, look at who's turned the cameras on. When we play all in, when we commit to playing all in, we learn faster. We get there sooner. We get there sooner than we could imagine. 
So I'm going to ask you to do this. Write down your goal, regardless of where you are right now. Write down your goal for the number of units that you set for yourself at the beginning of this year. Regardless of when you started in the business, write down your goal for what your goal for 2021 was. Now I'd like you to write down what you've closed and what you've got pending. How many of you got closed and pending? Now there's gonna be a bit of a gap there. What's that gap? Who can share that number with me? What's the gap? What was your goal and what's your gap right now? Who can share a number? I can, yeah. So my goal was 44. And okay. I am uh, 14 short. And you're 14 short. Okay, so we've got, wow. Okay, what is the average number of contracts that an agent signs in seven weeks of in-person bold. Do you know what that number is? 14. 14. 14. Really? So it sounds to me like we have somebody who's going to come into bold and close that gap inside of seven weeks. And they're going to be doing that happy dance going into Christmas and the new year going, hit my goal. I'm on it. Okay. Because the average number of contracts is 15. Okay. So now take that gap, take that gap, whatever that number is, and multiply it by your average commission in your area. What is your average GCI, your average commission? Clark, what's the average commission in your area? Between 10, 10 to $12,000. 10 to $12,000. So take that gap and multiply it. Let's do easy math. Multiply that gap by $10,000. Let's say you get a couple of fast first time home buyers at the lower price point, right? $10,000 deals. What is that amount of money? Who's going to share their gap times 10, what that number is in GCI? 140,000. 140,000. Did I hear 140,000? Yes. Wow. All right, so for everybody in the room, I want you to take out that pen and go, okay, that's a number that's out there. Somebody put that in the universe. I want you to write down what you would do with an extra $140,000 by Christmas time this year. Write it down. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? What would you do with an extra $140,000 in your pocket? <laughs> okay who can share what would you do shout it out what would you do with an extra 140k we'll share yeah, why, yeah, yeah right, right. Why? Wait, come on y'all need some coffee yeah, or something right there, right? <laughs> Paul, what would you do investment property investment property wow setting up a legacy for the future i love it what else pay off debt Pay off debt. Who would love nothing more than to be debt free? Even flash your camera on and off if you'd like to be debt free. <laughs> flash that camera. Let's be debt free. <laughs> Name something that you would give to somebody else, maybe a family member who needs something, a child, a spouse, a best friend. Who would take a little bit and go, man, if I had 140 extra, this is the one person I'd give that one little extra thing to? What would that be? Pay off my kids' student loans. Oh, yeah, you guys have some crazy student loans in the US. Oh my Man, that is crippling what's going on with student loans. So I want you to now. how does it make you feel? How does it make you feel thinking the potential is there to have an extra $140,000 by the end of the year, closed and pending? How does that make you feel? Exciting. Awesome, Exc exciting. I love that. Thank you, Tracy. Exciting. Okay. So what I'd like you to write down, take your pens out and write this down. Do what you've always done and you'll get what you've always gotten. <laughs> That's a bold law. Do what you've always done and you will get what you've always gotten. 
here's the thing. Now that we've got you writing this down about the 140 and it's floating around in your brain, in your mindset, you deserve everything. You get what is in your imagination. You get what you deserve in your imagination. That's another bold law. So when you start imagining the potential, when you start imagining that extra $140,000, your brain starts to go to work for you to go, man, how can I get that? How can I get that investment property? Oh, it feels so great to pay off that debt. So we activate our reticular activating system. That's our RADS. That's our, our animal brain that gets to work for us. That's just like, I got I can do this. I can work towards this. It would mean so much to my family, to me, if I can pay off that debt or get that extra 140,000. My intention during bold is to bring clarity to your dreams, your desires, your systems, your models, and to get that income coming out to you. So what is the one thing that you can do to start moving towards that extra $140,000? Sign, Sign up for bold. <laughs> See, the average bold's digital. So have we had a crazy year, yes or no? Yes. yes. Yes, it has been a wild ride this past 18 months, really. The average agent in bold digital, when we switched to a fully digital format and started bringing it back in the accountability and the mindset and the mastermind groups, bold digital has been averaging 11 contracts per agent. And we know the numbers for bold in person is 14 to 15 contracts per agent on average. Now, let me ask you this. How many people by a show of hands know that when you go to a gym and you have a trainer, you work out harder than if you just went to the gym yourself? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you know. You got a trainer? Yeah, you're going. Now, how many people here have ever bought a gym membership or had the intention to go to the gym? Let's go with you had a gym membership and you never went. Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah yeah tracy tracy playing all in i love that i love that okay so here's what we've got going on with bold it is about that trainer accountability it is to help push you through those limiting beliefs to take that voice and say yo no space for you i have a job to do i've got a hundred and forty thousand dollars waiting for me and i i have the full intention of going to get that so you have to ask yourself <laughs> are you doing the best you can or are you doing the best that can be done in your business see whatever the answer to that question is for you both answers are right both answers are right ask yourself though am i doing the best i can or am i doing the best that can be done so here's some questions that I have for you. Write down how many days you will work between now and the end of the year. Take all your holidays into account. If you've got weekends away, you guys have Thanksgiving coming up in November, Christmas holidays, personal days off. Write down how many days are you going to be taking for work between now and the end of the year? You got your number? Okay, now I want you to write this down. Please write it down. How many listings do you intend to take between now and the end of the year? Whatever your number is, write it down. <clears throat> How many listings? Now, some of those listings may come with buys on the other side, and you may get new buyers off of those listings where you put a sign in the ground. So now write down how many buyers do you intend to put under contract between now and the end of the year?
So now I'd like you to add up all three of those numbers. Add up how many listings, how many buys are you gonna have? How many units is that? And multiply that by your $10,000 in GCI. Who can share a number? A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Amazing. Can you use a hundred thousand dollars between now and the end of the year? Most definitely. Now <laughs> divide that by the number of days that you put down that you'll be working between now and the end of the year. And what does that work out to per day? A thousand dollars a day. Awesome. So think about this. When you show up to bold and you play all in and you make your contacts and you build your database and you reach out to people at the end of the day, when you turn your light off at the end of the day, even if you didn't sign somebody under contract that day, you've still earned a thousand dollars for that day. So every day that you show up and play all in is a thousand dollar day to you as they lead up to that payoff. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, when you're building that database and you're putting all this together, what is this going to do for your pipeline Fill it for up. 2022? Fill it up. It's going to explode. See, just knowing what our goals are and what the end result is going to be is what's going to change our mindset and that's what's going to carry us into that new year that's our RAS working for us so what i'd like you to do now is if you are all in fully committed to bold i want you my i don't want my intention is for you to sign up for bold type bold into the chat box so clark can see who's a hundred percent all in to get their fair share of that 140k to have the accountability with the trainer coming in once a week to hold your feet to the fire to help support you through that. Nice. Okay, so can I, okay, we have a special um, thing that we're gonna offer anybody who is committing right now to do full bold. So Tell us about it. it. Tracy Masick just put in bold. Tracy, are you in, are you all in to take um, full bold? I am. I took it earlier and I want to, I need to take it again. I need to keep it. Yes. Trisha, keep, it, keep it fresh. You learn something new every time. So, you do. So, so here's what we're going to do. We have six balloons filled with cash and we're going to pop a balloon for you, Tracy. May I do that for you, please? Yes, you may. And thank you very much. <laughs> here, I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> um, uh, uh. So is this one okay? Is this one okay? All right. Woo! You got five bucks, Tracy. Come see me. Has <laughs> anybody else typed bold in there? Nobody else? I typed bold. Who is that? Tracy Powell. Tracy Powell. <laughs> Tracy, you are awesome. You are already performing at a super high level. This is what you're going to get. Oh no, oh. baby. Uh -oh. Five bucks, come Woo! see me. All right. There's more money in there, by the way. Um, it's all right, y'all. It's $799. Who is willing to step up today to decide okay. today? Jeannie. You are Filberto? Jeannie. All right, come on up. Jeannie. Jeannie's Grab a balloon. Jeannie's I'm, I'm typing bold on the chat. And Jeannie's, Jeannie's typing bold as well. Jeannie. I got the next balloon for you. I think this will be Beanie's third or fourth. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. There's more money. Way to go. Well, I like Five. 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 All right, Jeannie, you've got a pretty good chance of getting higher, Jeannie. <laughs> and Rokaya and Maya, those are our three. Okay, right. great. I love this. 
All right, guys, Clark had a much bigger goal. Listen, his his intention is to have your market center just get to, to he has a commitment of 20 full bowls before any of the other Atlanta market centers hit 20. So who's sitting here? Who's got some questions about bold? What questions have you got for me that I can help you answer? Jeans. Jeans. Lunchtime, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeannie, here we go. Okay, here I am. Five bucks. Oh. Woo! That'll get me my iced coffee and bold. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Who's got some questions about bold? Who's sitting back wondering what is what is all this about bold? What else do I need to know? Who's got a question? Where's the dynamic place that we're going to have bold? Sandy Springs Center, where we were at City, last time. City Springs. Okay, that's a good location. That's a good location. And we are starting one week after. So it, it, everybody else is going to have two skip weeks. I'm just pulling up the calendar. We are starting on Thursday, October the 21st. And we will not have a break between step one and step two. We're going to be going straight through. You'll get the break for Thanksgiving week, and then we'll graduate in December. So Thursday, October the 21st. Woo! Yeah. It's your start day. How many people here, how many people here feel like, man, if I could get my database in order, I know I could kill it. Raise your hand if you know you could kill it if you get your database in order. So you have between now and October 21st, that first day of bold, I'm gonna challenge you to clean up 10 names a week between now and the beginning of bold, where you've got the contact information and everything locked and loaded so that when you come into bold, you're making calls, you're touching base, you're building those relationships and you're having people tell you, man, it is so good to hear from you. Are you still in real estate? Now, I know that you guys had some great stories today, and the stories from Bold abound. My favorite is from a Bold that I did just before we hit this, this crazy pandemic. And I was in the Bold room, and one of the teams reported out our table signed 14 listings. And I, the whole room went crazy. It's like 14 and I'm like, who did that? And everybody pointed to one person at the table. And we're like, dude, how did you get 14 listings in one week? And he said, I sat back and I got rid of my limiting beliefs. And I started calling people that I felt really embarrassed to call because it had been so long since I had spoken to them. And I did what you said. I just called to apologize and reestablish the connection. And my friend who I hadn't talked to for five years said, are you still in real estate? And he said, yeah, I am. He goes, we gotta get ready for coffee. I'm just finished my development of homes. I got 15, 14 houses, I've got a list. Are you interested? <laughs> and he said, if I hadn't have been in bold, if I hadn't put my limiting beliefs aside and picked up the phone, I would never have made those calls. And my next year is set. This was an October bold, guys. If you dream it, you can. If you believe it, you can dream it. It'll happen. Get your brain working for you. Now, if you're still kind of on the fence and you're willing to come to step one to bold, put step up in the chat. You'll come to the first day, put step up. Who's going to come to the first day of old? First Who's going to come to the first day of old? They are doing the whole thing. Anybody going to come to first step? Willing to commit? Yeah, Trace put it up here. Do they know what it is? It's just the free, free yes. first day. It's the free first day. So it's 9 to 1130 at Sandy Springs at the, at the center there. Okay, so Clark, be jotting these names down. Have somebody be recording them that they're going to come to the free first step. Yeah. And there's going to be so much value there. Now, understand, we've got five market centers participating in this bold, each market center with a goal of 20 registrations, because that's the space that we have.
So if you're thinking that, yeah, I'll get on it, I'll get registered, we don't want you to be coming to the plate and not have a seat at the table for you, okay? So if you're interested in full bold, put, full, put bold in. If you're just gonna come to the first day, put step up. And I promise we're gonna bring value. We're gonna give you ideas. We're gonna give you methods, systems, and models to get you that $140,000 by Christmas. All right, any other questions, anybody? We can't wait to see you in person. Awesome, I cannot wait to come down. So Clark, you got your names, help those three, four people get their full registrations in and Absolutely. get everybody else signed up for that first step. And I will see everybody in October. Thank you so much. See ya. <laughs> All right, so Tony, come on up. All right. We got one more incentive for you yeah, guys. This is super, this super, is leadership super right here. Super exciting. <laughs> this is just so exciting that it makes my head explode. All right. So how many how many new people are here are interested in bold? Real quick. They're thinking about it. Kind of you know want to build your data. You know want to build your business. Well, for me, when I started uh, in real estate, I got into bold. Uh, I had no database. You know, I was building it. Uh, for, so for me, it was all about adding contacts to my database. So what I want to do is I'm gonna sponsor a bold scholarship. And we're gonna have a competition to whoever can add the most contacts to their database over the next four weeks. The rules are fairly simple. You have to add 15 people to your, con to your database per week. You have to have a conversation with this person, which means these are not internet leads, these are not Facebook leads. You actually have to con have a conversation where you say, hey, can I stay in touch with you about real estate, all right? You have to get their name, their phone number, and either their address or uh, their email address. That's it. Those three of those four, all right, minimum 15 per week. Um, and that's competition. You take a screenshot of your database every week and you'll send it to me. And if you win, I uh, will pay for your bold scholarship. Wow. Um, awesome. <laughs> uh, just basically, uh, it's going to start next Monday. You're going to send you know, your email me your screenshot of your database number of contacts you have in your database all right and then every every week you're going to send me a new uh a new screenshot and just you know give me a give me an update say hey how many are in that okay i want to take this opportunity to pay it forward help somebody uh in this business uh, or in this office improve their business and tell you what and i don't think 15 is a very tough number when i was involved like i was saying i was working another job adding 30 35 people per week to my database. Uh, I have added in one week, I've added 55 people to my database. So I'm gonna step it up and say, if somebody can add 55 to their, uh, 55 contacts to their database in one week, we can sit down, I'll take you to lunch and we'll talk about uh, real estate ideas and how to build your business as well. All right, first person to do that, 55 in one week. Um, any questions? What's your contact information? <laughs> What's your contact information? I'll email that out later. That well, is funny, yeah, so. yeah. Tony okay. Torch at kw.com. But yeah, they, they have it on the. Um, we'll on we'll the email office. it out, Rochelle. What's that, Rochelle? It's from Tracy Howell, but I think it's on okay. like Tracy. <clears throat> that was Tracy. Me. I knew it was. <laughs> we'll email it out. And also, you have to have a follow up plan for these contacts, not just about getting them into your databases, making sure you stay in touch. Because staying in touch is what's helped build my business. Uh, and bring it to the level it's at today. Awesome. What do y'all say? Yeah. I, just, I just want to say that that, Tony, that is an example, the best example that I've seen in quite some time of generosity and being a part of this market center and, and doing the Y4C2 team. And yeah. thank you, Tony, very much. We're very happy to be here. Well, now we're going to continue. Hurry it up. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Um, certainty. Wait, was Gamic not first? Certainty, I guess, is first. My bad. Certainty, come on down. Paul, I know you're here. Hello. Two Pauls. One second. Melissa. Who's Melissa? What you got for us today, Paul? Short, sweet, and simple. Good. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. Good morning. Paul Bryan, Certainty Home Loans. Uh, very quick. Just want to remind everybody this Thursday at 12 noon, we're doing uh, in class here on Mortgage 102. Uh, Mortgage 102 is thinking outside the box. 
basically in a nutshell. Also, the week after, we're going to, on the 21st at noon, here, uh, renovation class, lunch served, by the way. Uh, and on the 28th, we're doing everything you need to know about credit on the 28th of September at noon. Uh, please come. I know, it's, you know, you all hear these classes over and over and over, but hearing things repetitive helps you remember in the future. Yeah. So. And those are on Thursdays. Thursdays at noon. Thursdays yeah, at noon. I have the dates on the board back. Yeah. Well, oh, there we go. Uh, our underwriting turn times lately have been super fast. I've seen six or seven hours. And I've seen, you know, but the average is 24 hours. So uh, it makes it so much easier when underwriting moves through that fast. And then our resubs, when we resub the, the loan, it's, it's that afternoon. It's been wonderful. Uh, rates lately. Um, Conforming 2.99, no points. We get that down to 2.7 with some originate or discount. FHA rates 2.875, down to two and a half with a point. VA 2.875, the same at two and a half with a point. Uh, market slowed down a little bit there for that two or three weeks, but it's picking back up. Awesome. Any questions? Thank you. All right, thanks, Paul. Good morning, everyone. Paul Yaku, attorney with Gannick. We got Rena over here as well. Renee's remote, uh, living our best life somewhere. Right now. So I'm here to step in. So I wanted to talk about remote closings. We get a lot of that these days. Um, a lot of out of town buyers from the north and from the west, um, which they're driving up the market. But nonetheless, the process is a little bit unknown to sellers. Uh, to say the least. Um, we've had several moments uh, where sellers were unhappy with the fact that they weren't going to get paid the time they signed their documents because the buyer's remote and they're signing loan documents somewhere else. Lenders, if it's a conventional lender, they will not allow buyers to sign early. So if it's closing on the 10th, they sign on the 10th, which means we can't fund until we get the originals back the following business day. And then of course, once that occurs, we double check to make sure everything is signed approved by the lender, then we disperse. Um, come to realize that when you play with people's money, they get crazy. And uh, <laughs> sellers have threatened the darndest things, not signed, walked out, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, demanding amendments, buyers can't take possession, et cetera. So the gist of all this is just to educate your clients, especially when you're on the listing side of it, let them know the expectations. The key is to level their expectations from the outset, especially when you go under contract and you come to realize the buyer is remote and they're financing. If it's cash, that's another story. They can close and sign and same day get you know their, their proceeds. But just let them know we cannot fund until the following business day once we get original loan documents back. And it's just, you know, these documents are date sensitive. So buyers don't have the option when financing to sign early, even if the package is ready from the lender, they have to sign on the date of closing, which means we don't disperse until the following business day when we get the cash back. But we deal with crazy, so we're happy to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be saying that. Because <laughs> you're, you're right here. You're right here. That's why. It's not your. It, it's I don't not. Want some crazy no, no, no. <laughs> can, you're, in my, you're in my peripheral view. That's all. <laughs> Questions? Well, again, thank you for your continued support. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate talking. Now, Farmers Insurance, thank you. Uh, all come on down and uh, thank you so much for breakfast. Yes. Well, that was going to be my that was going to be my whole pitch. You know, these, <laughs> these were all very uh, hard acts to follow, but but I did bring the nuggets. <laughs> and, and the story of the nuggets for those of you that are, are newer is when I first started doing this a few years ago, the direction was don't bring anything that's not healthy. So I brought in a lot of healthy things the first few meetings and people were vastly <laughs> underwhelmed with that. and I was running late one meeting and got McNuggets because it's pretty easy to get them quickly and I got raves and emails and please bring them again. So that's why you have nuggets. <laughs> um, just a few things. Uh, the first one is um, there is no try. I think that's Yoda. But uh, so that's one way to maybe remember that. There's uh, there's being and do not. There's do and do not. Way to remember it. So um, a couple things. Uh, 
I do uh, business with a number of you. Thank you for the leads that have come my way. My uh, promise to you as a, an insurance agent is that I will make that process that includes insurance very easy for your clients and not hold up your deal. I know it's not your main thing that you're thinking about when you're so selling a house, but I won't be the problem in the closing. So that's what our promise is. We react the day that we get a lead on anyone that's closing. Um, we've had a few this month with you guys and we always appreciate it. You can give me more than I can give you because people don't come to me looking for real estate agents. However, my uh, eldest daughter moved from Seattle to Charlotte just last month and has not been able to find a house because she, she put in 11 offers, just nothing's working. If you know anyone in Charlotte real estate, I'll yeah, take I that name. I do. Okay, um, right here. that would be a big help. The last thing is on your desk, um, it's a little bit of information about our agency. We're right in the heart of Dunwoody next to Piedmont Bank. We've been there eight, nine years already. Mm -hmm. I've been in insurance for 20 years. I was a broker before I opened up our agency. And congratulations to you for Best of Perimeter. Your ad's probably right next to mine mm -hmm. for the best insurance agent in, in the perimeter area. So we share this award and recognition, and there's a reason for that for, for all of us. So again, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you. Enjoy the nuggets, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bob. And then we have, go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead. Also, welcome to our other vendor of the week, Gene Roberts with Choice Home Warranty, who also brought us over hey, here. Gene. Thank you, Gene. Morning, guys. For the I'll keep it real, real short. Um, first of all, I wanted to make sure everybody was aware. Um, it doesn't say this anywhere on our brochure but you can do monthly payments on our warranty. So if you have a buyer that needs a warranty, uh, they don't have $580, they don't have $420, whatever they, they uh, are choosing, you can pay monthly. Our very best plan is only $48.34 a month. So there's absolutely no reason for someone to get into a house with no protection. Most of our claims come in the first 90 days after closing. Houses, systems are like people. They don't like change any more than, than you do. So they're use, being used differently. Most of the claims, like I said, come pretty early. The other thing I wanted to highlight is um, we do have multi-year plans. We can go as, as high as five years. Uh, our very best plan is 580, like I said, or 48, 34 a month. But if you do multi-year, a two-year plan, right now we have a $100 promotion off of all our multi-year plans. So the two-year plan is eight fifty, so that's four twenty-five a year for the best coverage. Uh, three-year plan is twelve fifty, or a five-year plan is two thousand. So you can get as low as four hundred dollars a year if you go as far as five years. Um, the other thing I want to point out: chwpro.com is my my website, and and I say that because I have a lot of real estate agents that think they're doing business with me, but they're not. If you go to choicehomewarranty.com, that's not me. chwpro.com, and, and I, they're part of my company, but it, it's, it's like two different worlds. That's a direct to consumer side of things. Uh, the plans are drastically different. Uh, we, we cover things uh, much more robustly than they do. So please go to chwpro.com or even better, give me a call and I would love to help you out. Um, thanks for your time. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks, Jamie. Okay. Can I add one more thing? Sure. So um, just a quick tip. This has happened um, a lot recently. I've gotten calls from a lot of my clients related to water damage. You know, the number one killer of a house mm -hmm. <laughs> that there is. Three kinds of water damage can happen. One is when a pipe bursts. That's almost always covered under insurance policy. Your house gets flooded because the water table rises. That's almost never covered unless they have a flood policy. The third is sewer and drain backup. And there's a lot of people that don't take this coverage because it's a couple hundred dollar endorsement. But do your, your customers a favor. If they have a basement, make sure that they tell their insurance agent to quote sewer and drain backup. So they at least know what it covers and that if they have any water that backs up from outside from a failed system, that they have coverage. There are a lot of people that don't take it and they're with all the rain we've had, they have no coverage. So make that a tip for your Thank your you, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, and then um, just this is a reminder, you guys, at 1130, which is almost coming up here, we have DS Murphy teaching our CE class. That's Zoom only. That's was her 
DS Murphy's um, last minute request. We're going to do Zoom only. What else is there, Evan? Um, we've got Brad's Investment Club. We're going to send out a text about that. It's tomorrow at from one to two. Um, and then um, this is an awesome class coming up with Paige Pace on the 20th, Monday, September the 20th. I will plan on being here myself. myself. What else? Okay, and more CE, y'all. So just more CE. There's CE coming up on the 6th. Um, there is, if you need the Code of Ethics class, Thursday, October the 14th. And just when you thought there was too much, oh, that was it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then check this one out. Kathy, how about this up here? Oh, yeah. Fall Cookout. <laughs> the Fall Cookout. Yeah. So it is um, coming up on October the 16th from 2 to 6 p.m. We are super excited yeah. about it. And I know the weather's going to be fantabulous. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So thank you. Mark your calendars. We have a business planning clinic coming up in, in one in October and then yet another one in November that um, Kent, um, Kent from KWU, Kent, what, what is his last name? I can't remember. He's going to be leaving the next one. Um, and then more CE. So y'all, here's your CE. Somebody asked me the other day, I think it was MJ. MJ, if you're on the call, there's your CE. Lots of CE. Guys, keep in mind too, I will be putting these on the website if you need like these uh, Eventbrite links and everything you can find them on the website. Okay. Regularly scheduled events. We're going to go right on past that one. Okay. And then anything, um, any upcoming listings that you would like to share with the group? Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. Oh, okay. So I have a listing coming up uh, Stonecrest, Lithonia area, five bedroom, five bath. Uh, completely finished basement, theater room, workout room, three car garage, gated community, uh, 569.9. And if there's any agents that are interested in doing open houses in that area, please let me know. Uh, Excellent. Yes, let's go right. Go ahead, Kevin. <clears throat> um, Thursday got a house going on in Flowery Branch. This house would sell for. 800 plus in Dunwoody, 525, gorgeous, was built in the last seven years, um, great backyard, all brick, it's very nice. Awesome. Well, yeah. yeah, high rise in Buckhead, terminus condos, 22nd floor, three bedroom, three bathroom, luxury unit, about 2,800 square feet. Um, everything you would expect with a younger building, about eight, nine year old other buildings, 1.1. 1.1 at Terminus at Peachtree and Piedmont. Awesome. Cynthia. Uh, I have a listing coming up in Deerfield. It's going to be probably mid 600. It has, currently has handicapped features. If anybody has or knows of a buyer that needs handicapped features, it is fully decked out uh, ramps and wide doorways and everything. So if we can sell it with that handicap in the future, we will. If not, we'll. Some of it will be modified before it goes on the market. Excellent. But just keep in mind, those are hard to find is when you already have an existing home ready for handicap. Is that Roswell? Deerfield? No, no, Deerfield is Dunwoody. Oops, sorry. Dunwoody. In Dunwoody. <laughs> Deerfield in Dunwoody. Deerfield Somebody else said there. Matali. Mid 600s, but it does need cosmetics. Um, so just make it your own. Okay. It's a great deal. That's what it's like. Finish basement. Yes. I have a five bedroom, four and a half bath with basement in Roswell in Rexford, Roswell High School. Coming up maybe in a week. 650. 650 in Wexford and Roswell, Roswell High. Cool. Yes, Kathy. I've got a um, single family home in Dunwoody, 30360, Cape Cod traditional, nice flat lot, uh, four bedroom, three full baths, and one bedroom in Roswell. Okay. Four sixty-five. Thank you, Kevin. Um, I have a listing company in Alpharetta in the country subdivision of Wynwood Parkway. Um, four bedroom, two and a half bath. We're going out at four thirty-five. Sunroom, fresh with paint. That sounds like that's probably going to sell pretty quickly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. okay, in Wynwood. Thanks, Kevin. Anybody else? John. Okay, um, John. Hang on one second, Deb, and I'll go with you, John. Go for it. Yeah, we have coming up in Lilburn. Like Lucerne, we have a four bedroom, three bath home uh, that we're going to be selling for 350. Okay. 
in Lake Lucerne. That sounds beautiful. Deb. Um, we have a coming soon in about three weeks, a ranch in Alpharetta, 360,000, four bedrooms. All the systems are newer or new. Same thing with the roof. It is Mac Daddy solid. A couple of little areas like the bathrooms could use some um, uplifting. But other than that, it's ready to go. And they also, like Cynthia's house, if you need to go smaller than the sixes, this one has a full handicapped accessible bedroom, um, also has a separate access out to their grand covered porch. Um, and it is in a neighborhood that does welcome investors as well. So if you have somebody looking for a rental, um, that, that bedroom would also be an incredible office. 365? 360. 360. 360. So if you're looking for something, come see us. Nice. Anybody else? Okay. Is that it? Are we done? I got one. Come yes. Bob. So um, Alpharetta, uh, three bedroom, two bath, Avonsong neighborhood. Um, it's uh, going to be coming on probably around October 1st. It's going to be probably in the 375 area. And very similar to Martino's, uh, it is a community that does have uh, rentals. So um, so it's a good investment property. Excellent. 375. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. All right. Or roughly. Yes, John. We have another one that's coming up uh, toward the end of the month. It will be in Lakeside and Ansley. This would be a million fifty. It's a great house. Uh, it's been, re, been redone and it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. That's Roswell High School. So great schools. And also, we have in the orchards of Roswell, which is a 55 plus community, we have a uh, two bedroom, two bath with a sunroom that will be going out at around 400. Excellent. Way to go, y'all. Proud to be in business with y'all. Go out there, get another listing, and make it an awesome day. And I'll see you in bold.